Hello again. I'm aware that suggesting any inherent differences in cognitive ability or intellectual prowess between ethnic groups is unpopular these days and at best uh, likely to see one being branded a racist. I'm open to the possibility that such criticism is justified so I thought that instead of making crude assertions I would talk instead about the very different outcomes of a couple of programs launched in the early 1960s with a view to conquering outer space. Before I do so, it might be interesting for viewers to consider which countries have actually managed to send satellites into orbit around the world and probes to the Moon and Mars. Russia and America were of course the first countries to get satellites into orbit, both in the late 1950s. France was next in 1965. Which nation came next, do you think? Britain, perhaps, or some other European country? In fact, it was Japan in 1970. China was next a few months later, and then Britain managed the feat the following year. Then came a European Union satellite, followed by India, Israel, Iran, and both North and South Korea. In other words, apart from Europe and the United States, it is due to nations, especially those from East Asia, who seem to be making the running in the space race. I wonder if anybody sees any significance in this. India was after all a colony of the British for a very long time, but colonialism doesn't seem to have held them back when it comes to technological achievements. Not only have they sent satellites into orbit, the Indians have also sent probes to the moon and more recently Mars. Their plans for manned space flight and the space station are well advanced. What news on this front from Africa, which is far richer in natural resources than say Japan or Korea? Have they any plans to launch a satellite anytime soon? Well, in one Africa, country a space program was started in the early 1960s at roughly the same time that India began its space program. The Zambian space program aimed to send a rocket to the moon in 1964 and began training various astronauts as they were described. The star was a 16 year old girl who would be launched into space with two cats to keep her company. The director of the Zambian space program may be seen in the thumbnail to this video. The training consisted of making the prospective astronauts climb into old oil barrels and then rolling them down hills to simulate space travel. That and teaching them to walk on their hands because it was thought that was the best way to get around in space. Um, simulating free fall and weightlessness consisted of making them swing on ropes from a tree and then the director of the space program climbed up onto a branch and cut the rope so that they could experience <laughs> free fall and weightlessness. After a few months of this, the 16-year-old girl got pregnant and returned home, and the rest of the astronauts went on a drinking spree and were never heard of again. I need perhaps hardly say that almost 60 years later, the Zambian space program has not enjoyed the same success that, that in India has. I give a link in the description to this video to a piece about this business. Here though is a serious question. Outside Europe and America, four countries in East Asia have launched satellites, together with the Jewish state and two South Asian nations. That's it. Does anybody think there is any significance in the fact that successful space programs flourish in East Asia and that a small country full of Jews has managed to launch stuff into space? Or do they think it's simply random? The uh, countries that random it might just as easily perhaps have been Brazil and Mauritania, that there is no particular significance that it was those countries which have successful space programs. What about Africa? Why has no African country managed to do the same? It's no use blaming the legacy of colonialism, for India suffered this every bit as much as any African country. Nor is there much point in talking about a lack of raw materials or resources. Japan has few natural resources, whereas the Congo is full of all the things like cobalt, which we desperately need to power our mobile telephones and electric cars. 
Any chance of the Congo sending a rocket into space, do you think? Nigeria? Kenya? It sounds utterly ridiculous or disgustingly racist, depending upon your political views, even to ask questions of this kind, but I think it's worth doing so. Nobody was the least bit surprised when Japan became the fourth country on Earth to launch its own satellite in 1970. I think it's fair to say that most people would have been a bit surprised if it had been Nigeria or Upper Volta that had done this. Is this a difference in culture? What is it about East Asia which makes us take it for granted that they will be sending rockets into space? And what is it about Africa which causes us to laugh at the very idea? Is this racism or is it symptomatic of some deeper reality? I'm not at all doctrinaire about my views on this matter, although it does seem to me on the face of it that there is something other than culture at work here. Or indeed, if it is culture, that the culture has arisen for a particular reason, that we need to look deeper than merely the culture of Africa and the culture of Asia.